Hey what's up guys and welcome back to another video. Not in the studio, today we're in the living room to talk about the new Xbox One S. Now to give you a bit of background, I picked up a PlayStation 3, well it was at launch, so quite a long time, many years ago now, and I've been using it on and off for several years for things like games, mainly exclusives, but otherwise TV and video services. Fast forward to today though, and I'm someone that uses a 4K television for most of my viewing, and having a PlayStation 4, while it's great, it doesn't have any 4K capabilities. And I didn't already own an Xbox, I was never really a fan of the big chunky previous one, but they've released a new one which is available at a very good price and it features a UHD Blu-ray drive. So as a PC gamer, I picked one up and here are my thoughts. So then, to get things kicked off, what is actually new about this Xbox? Well, it's a lot smaller than the previous one, it is available in white as its standard colour rather than black, but more importantly it has a range of HDR and 4K services. So you can watch things like Netflix, YouTube and Amazon Instant Video and all of those good things in 4K on your 4K TV. But if you have an HDR television then you can also do this via HDR. But if you are playing a compatible game you can also play certain games in HDR. Now the downside is that there is a new Xbox coming out later next year, or later this year depending on when you're watching this video, known as Scorpio, that's all we know about it at the moment, other than the fact that it's going to be able to play native 4K titles, whereas this Xbox simply upscales them, so if you're playing on a 4K TV and the game is rendering something like Gears of War, it will upscale it to the full 3840 by 2160 resolution. But the reason I picked it up was mainly because it can play UHD Blu-rays. And UHD Blu-rays support things like HDR, uh, higher bit depth of color, but most importantly it's that resolution of 4K or 3840 by 2160. Now, this is quite important because if you look at the price of native UHD Blu-ray players, they are all more expensive than the Xbox One S at the time of filming this video. The one I've got here is the 500 gigabyte version, and for £250, and that came with a copy of FIFA amongst some few other things, it presents a very good value proposition. Now, immediately, I wouldn't say I was disappointed, but there are a few things to note if you are just buying this just because you want a UHD Blu-ray player. At the time of filming, there is currently no Dolby Atmos support, which means if you have a fancy audio surround set up with ceiling speakers, you're not going to be able to get the most out of them at the moment, but just yesterday Microsoft announced that they would do an update to get this going. But, more importantly, note that this device doesn't support HDMI CEC, which is essentially controlling your Xbox with another remote, something that the PlayStation 4 does have. So something I was quite used to doing is picking up a TV remote, hitting the play, hitting the pause buttons on my TV remote, and then it actually happening on screen, whereas you have to buy a separate remote if you want to do something similar uh, with the Xbox, which is, which is a little bit of a shame, but they're going for more of a media center thing where you plug everything into the Xbox rather than the other way around. And so then, those are all the new features of the Xbox One S. But is this actually a games console worth picking up? Well, I think it entirely depends on whether you have a 4K television and whether you already own an Xbox. If you already own an Xbox and you don't have a 4K television, other than the form factor, you're not actually gaining anything at all by upgrading. You're just getting a smaller box without a power brick. Your in-game performance isn't going to change, sadly. But if you have an HDR 4K television, or even just a 4K television, then that's when things are looking a bit brighter, even if you already do own an Xbox, because you're going to be able to play UHD Blu-rays, which granted are very expensive, and you're going to be able to stream in 4K. The problem is though that a lot of televisions already have 4K streaming built into them and if you don't want to play UHD Blu-rays then again you're not really gaining anything because your television can probably do a lot of these things already. But if you have a PlayStation 4 or a PC and you want to pick this up then not only are you gaining the Xbox library and some of the exclusives but you're gaining the ability to actually use your 4K television to its full potential. And while the games don't natively run in 4K, they definitely do look better when you turn the upscaling on. One thing to report though is that some older televisions will not properly support HDMI 2.0 and HDMI 2.0 with HDCP 2.2. And this means that you may not be able to run 
4K Blu-rays um, on your television if you have an older generation 4K TV. So please check this before you pick one up, as I was, ha I was uh, as I would hate for you uh, to be disappointed. And one of my televisions, I've noticed that I have to have one of the settings turned on to make it work. So UHD. Uh, HDMI color or something very similar to that actually has to be off otherwise I just get a completely black screen when trying to play a Blu-ray. So have a play around, have a look at your television and then you should be able to make an informed decision. And there we go, that has been my quick look at the Xbox One S. Obviously it is very similar to the original Xbox and it's not the most powerful console out there. I mean both this and the PlayStation 4 they can't really play games at 1080p 60 let alone 4K but they certainly do give you a very good game library now for a very low price and it's definitely worth considering. And so if you've enjoyed this video please give it a like, it really does help me out a lot. Subscribe for more videos just like this. Let me know what you think about the Xbox One S and whether you have any interest at all in 4K Blu-ray down below. Hit me up on social media, it's at PCCentric and I'll see you in the next video gonna stop people buying an Xbox but because they put this drive in there oh, oh. What is that? For, oh. Oh, mate, you're taking the piss. Really? Why? Why are you getting something to. Oh.